Hello and welcome to another Commodore One Shot. Today we're taking a look at a classic driving game, Pole Position, made by Atari. This was also released for the Atari. I can't remember which one. I think actually the 2600, or maybe it was the 7800. I can't remember. But this is for the Commodore. This is the Commodore version. And uh, well, this is fun. Let's uh, get started. Press F1 to start. Okay, that was a weird button to pr press. Uh, but yeah, this is Pole Position, a classic driving game. Let's uh, prepare to qualify. So yeah, you basically, in this game, you have to uh, drive. How do I drive? Oh. I'm guessing the the joystick. I need to switch the joystick just a minute there we go here we go so basically in this one you have to uh, qualify and you get your pole position I think that's the term that's why they got the name basically you need to uh, get this determines where in line you start for the race the real race and this this is this is a classic. This reminds me a lot of uh, Pit Stop 2. Even though I must admit, Pit Stop 2 is a better game in my opinion. You can go back and look at Pit Stop 2. I have another Commodore one shot. Uh, that is one of the, in my opinion, one of the best driving games ever made. Um, uh, yes, I know it's an old game, but you always have to. That's at least how I think. When I think of games, I think of when they were made uh, as well as how they play. And so yeah, it, most of the Need for Speed and uh, whatever the hell I don't really do driving games, but most of those are of course better. But compared to when they were made, I think Pit Stop would be is even uh, is one of the best. But this is a fun game, Pole Position. This was an arcade game before it became a home game. This was before my time. I mean, this is from. I mean, I was born, but I didn't go to the arcade in the early 80s because I wasn't that old. So I got starting position eight. Wow, that's uh, and they have a little Atari logo on the on the blimp. I didn't even notice that before. But yeah, we. <laughs> wow, I that wasn't really that good. Uh, anyway, let's uh, see. Come on, yes, I'm gonna. Uh, this same way. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> if, if you hit anything, anything, any of the other cars, you instantly explode. You know the way Formula One cars do in real life. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> that's kind of weird. You can't touch anybody. That's uh, and that's where Pit Stop Two is a little better. You can actually hit the other cars without exploding in pit stop. You kind of have energy in pit stop too as where you have to change your tires and something like that. And this you just explode. But it's still a fun game and for its time these graphics are actually pretty great. Uh, okay, that's... Am I even... Oh! I'm an idiot. I, I haven't played this in ages. I'm doing this kind of blind because I haven't played it since the, the the 90s late early 90s uh, but yeah you can apparently you can if you press the fire button uh, which is any button on the this is an, on an emulator so the fire button is what whatever button you set it to for me it's L but yeah you can actually I think you change your gears you can hear the sound you go into a higher gear I think and my time is almost running out <laughs> I'm not really good at this. Never really been good at uh, racing games. I enjoyed playing a lot of them, but never really been good at it. Let's try that again. Now that I know I can actually change gears, that might give me a better position, uh, starting position at least. Prepare to qualify. It's, uh, it's, it all seems like it says qualify. That first <laughs> let us uh, look a little bit like an A. Um, these videos are short, so these are just kind of short videos well duh. but yeah the, these are just uh, kind of I don't know Ooh, I, I oh I'm 
doing a lot better. I'm actually passing cars and I hit a sign. Why would they place signs there anyway? And whoever made these cars should be fired. Atari never open a car factory. I think they would go out of business pretty fast if you did. <laughs> Buy these new cars from Atari. They explode whenever they hit anything. <laughs> Holy shit. I, gu I guess if they would earn a lot of money, basically, because if you just hit anything, you have to buy a new car. Well, I guess they would, the people in it would die, so... Never mind! There was a flaw in my logic. Oh. Oh, but I'm doing better. I'm doing a lot better. Oh, my crap. Oh! Oh, you saw that. That was... That was really, really amazing. I almost hit him, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, really amazing. <laughs> okay, what? which... Oh my god, I'm number five. I am number five. Prepare to raise. Okay. Great music. That is actually one of the things the Commodore had going that no other system had at the time. It had amazing sound, especially the music. The Commodore, there's... there's a cover band actually called Press Play on Tape. They play old Commodore music. They're really famous. Really make some really cool music. Uh, other bands are still actually playing on Commodore 64 because the music, the, the I think it's called the SID chip that's inside, it's still being used th today in some uh, synthesizers and uh, keyboards and stuff like that because it is an amazing music chip. The, Back in the day of the Commodore, the PC was a piece of crap, basically. The Commodore ruled. I read somewhere that, uh, I don't know if this is still true, or even true when I read it, but I read somewhere that the Commodore is the most sold, the Commodore 64 is the most sold computer ever. I don't know if it's still true. Uh, but it, it is an amazing system. It was, you know, but uh, oh, it was an amazing system. It still is, but not, uh, you know what I mean. Okay, let's see. What 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 position do I have? You can't tell you what position you have. I think this is the missionary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but seriously, am I last? I'm probably last. Well, ooh. Extended play. What do you mean extended play? It, it, are we only gonna drive one lap? Oh yeah, I, for I completely forgot about the gear. Oh my god! Ah, oh, I went right through those two cars, right between them. That was insane. I can't believe I actually did that. Ah, oh, I'm the best driver ever. I'm a great driver. Uh, <laughs> I'm a great driver. Uh, yeah. Here I come, they called me the Flash. Mostly because there's a big flash of light when I explode. Uh, <laughs> the big banger. No, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't mind. That wouldn't be the worst nickname, I guess. Oh shit, no, sign! God damn it. Whoever placed these signs at the edge of the racing track should be fired. A lot of people who made this racing track should be fired. The people who made the cars should be fired. The people who made the... Uh, passing bonus! Time 50! I don't know what the hell that means. Did I complete the race? What's the finishing line? What happened here? But why is that a countdown? Is this game gonna explode? This game will self-destruct. Game over. This has been another Conan one-shot. Come back tomorrow for more fun games from the past. Bye.